Frickers, and we are ready for the warm-up as we visit with Wayne Trace, and then Crestview, and then Van Wertz. And we are joined by the head coach. It is Mike Spies, who takes over for Coach Bill Speller. Of course, you filled in some last year when Coach Speller had those injuries as well. Um, how's it feel to take the helm of this program and get things going for Wayne Trace football? Well, unfortunately, last year, uh, Coach Speller had some, some uh, illness, so... Uh, uh, for about seven or eight games, I was the acting head coach, so at least I had a little experience going into this year. Uh, other than uh, the amount of paperwork uh, <laughs> that uh, the head coach has to, to complete, yeah. that's probably the biggest change. It's all in the family. You've got your brother helping out Ken. Austin is back with the program. What's that mean to have uh, some of the Speech family with you? Uh, that's awesome. You know, Kenny and I have coached for several years together. Uh, I coached my oldest son, Austin. And then he went on to Bluffton University and graduated in May of this year and was fortunate enough to get back in the community uh, living. He, he got a job back in our area in his field of study and uh, his employer is allowing him to coach with me. So that's uh, that's been be very beneficial. Uh, he was an offensive lineman there at Bluffton. <laughs> right. And, uh, and he's coaching our line and defensive line this year. Nice to have a guy that the guys look up to, I'm sure. He's kind of around their age. That's a big plus. Yes, it's uh, it's been very nice. He he uh, He's told me I need a Twitter account and Facebook and all that <laughs> stuff, and I'm kind of old school. I don't need any of that stuff. That's right. You're, you're just fine the way things are going. Uh, new thing this year for Wayne Trace. You started the practice season with Midnight Madness. Started at 8 o'clock the day before. Just take us through what happened. Yeah, the week leading up to uh, two days, we had a team camp uh, Monday through Thursday. And, and matter of fact, we had team camp on Friday, and that was in my backyard and pond. And uh, we grilled for the boys and uh, had a good time. And then... Uh, on Sunday evening, we met at the high school at 8 o'clock, and then uh, they had Xbox, they had their tent set up, and about 11.30, they got uh, weighed in for the first time. And then at midnight, we flipped the lights on. At 12.01, we started practice to about 3.50 in the morning. And uh, quite honestly, that was a, the coolest practice we've had <laughs> since August 1st. Uh, it was about 70 degrees, a uh, little dew on the ground, and uh, the kids, kids had a great time that night. What a great idea and what a great way to kick off this long month of August, two days. Like you mentioned, there's been the heat. Uh, as a coach, what's your approach to that? I mean, how much are, are you focusing on conditioning? How much are you focusing on you know, the offensive and defensive schemes? It, it's a balancing act, isn't it? Yeah, we, we uh, our summer lifting and conditioning program, uh, I actually utilized Austin again, who uh, graduated with a young man from Bluffton who was a strength and conditioning uh, major. So he, uh, he got us our eight week program for the summer as far as conditioning and, and lifting. So, uh, you know, when two days started, we were in pretty good shape. And then, uh, you know, we've continued. Uh, there have been some days that we have, uh, you know, just allowed them to go pants, uh, no shoulder pads or helmet. We got our work done. And then when it's time to hit, we, we put the shoulder pads and helmets back on. So you gotta use your head. It's been hot and humid, but uh, they responded great. Same uh, high-flying offensive attack we've gotten used to from Wade and Trace? We, uh, we're still running the spread. <laughs> uh, we go five wide, four wide, whatever it takes. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to try to be a little more dimensional uh, in that we're going to try and run the ball a little bit more. Um, but each week may be different. Yeah. You know, we may line up go five wide the whole game. Yeah. Defensive coordinator of all those years, are you sticking with the defense? Are you going to help on both sides? Well, uh, yeah, I'm going to call the defense. And then uh, Coach Doug Essler is the offensive coordinator. Uh, but I'll also be assisting him with that. Uh, so I'll have a little bit of everything. My brother Kenny uh, takes care of the special teams. So we've got everything divided up. Uh, eight, eight seniors, tell us about the senior class. What really characterizes them? Uh, hard workers, unity. Uh, these guys, uh, um, they were part of that 2013 state runner-up team. So they know what it takes to win. Uh, they've seen the hard work that that group of young men put in. And, uh, you know, for my first year being head coach, I, you know, we, we only got eight of them, but we've got eight solid character kids. And, uh, you know, they go to bat every day. They've been good leaders. Uh, last night we elected our team captains. Okay. Uh, and a couple, we, we did it in a two-phase system this year. But uh, the kids uh, elected their team captains, and they'll be speaking tonight for you. We look forward to hearing from them. Uh, two scrimmages, one already complete. How do you feel uh, you guys came out of that one last week? Well, number one, uh, we, you always want to get good work in. And number two, you want to come out injury free. Uh, number one, we got some good work. Uh, we've seen some positive things. 
And uh, when we reviewed the film, uh, there were fixable things, you know, just little things that we can do uh, better, uh, reading defenses if we're on offense uh, and, and tackling better on defense. Um, and then the second thing is we come out completely injury free and that's that's something you want. Yeah, the next scrimmage will be at your place on Friday. Spencerville comes up and also Elida as Coach Speller gets a chance to come home. Of course, uh, it's been a tough week for Elida. Uh, I think it'll be pretty special for him to come home, be surrounded by a lot of people that know and love him. Yeah, it's it's just a tragedy what happened in the Elida community. I found out about that early uh, Friday evening, late afternoon, and, and I immediately got on the phone with Coach Bill. And, uh, uh, you know, it's something as a coach, Fortunately, we never had to go through the Wayne Trace. You, you hope nobody has to go through it ever. But uh, I've been in here for him to sound off on, and as well as the other coaches. You know, we, we were together for 13 years. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, he called last night, and, and we talked for about 20 minutes. And quite honestly, he's looking forward to coming, yeah. coming back and, and seeing us guys that he hadn't seen for a while. And then from a football standpoint, all three teams going to really get tested. A couple air attacks. Spencerville's going to pound the ground. You're going to yeah. learn a lot. Yeah, what a, what a great scrimmage uh, uh, that we got set up. Initially, it was supposed to be a two-team. And then when, when Coach left uh, in February, March there, uh, he got the light and found out that they had scheduled Spencerville. So we just decided to go three-team. And uh, uh, for a tune-up before our first week there, August 26th, to have five wide Elida <laughs> who I know very well and coach Speller and then the next quarter we'll get to go against Spencerville team who's going to run it down our throat um, you know it's it's a great opportunity uh, in one night to play two, two different teams two different styles of football no question about it well good luck this season coach Mike Spies getting things ready for the Wayne Trace Raiders when we return we'll talk to a couple of those seniors right here from Frickers on WOSN Seniors, Caleb Schultz now at the end, a running back and linebacker. And Seth Saylor to my right, a wide receiver and defensive back. Your dad is a rib master. Oh, yes. And a big rib family. You guys like to eat the ribs? He cooks them the best. I've never had better than what he does. So. Except the Frickers. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course. There we go. So we enjoy the ribs here. Love the Van Wert Rib Fest. Uh, Seth, let's start with you. Senior season, how excited are you for this? Oh, I just love the team we have around me. Uh, all the seniors I've grown up around for my whole life, and I'm just excited because we're high-powered and ready to go. Tell me about Midnight Madness. What was that like for you? It was exhausting first. <laughs> Why was it exhausting? 12 o'clock, and I'm just, like, ready to go to bed. I usually go to bed at, like, 9.30 for really? crying out loud. Yeah. 9.30, <laughs> Caleb, is that true? Uh, I can see it out of him. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> How was it for you? Did you enjoy the It was pretty fun. Uh, we set up tents, and uh, I brought my dad's projection screen, so we were playing Xbox about 3, 4 in the morning. So who was the Xbox champion? Did you have a tournament or anything? Uh, yeah, we played a lot of Call of Duty. Uh, Coach Iwinski was actually pretty solid. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> nice shot out there. Uh, running back, Coach said, we'll run a little bit more this year. How do you feel about that? Uh, I like it. Okay. I like the sound of it. I'm um, hoping... Hoping to get a quite a bit of carries this year, obviously. <laughs> you don't believe it, I can tell. <laughs> we'll see, Coach. We'll see. How about the defense? You know, you have familiarity with it. How are things coming together on uh, that side of the ball? Yeah, I played I played last year. I played defensive end last year, and I've been around the mic position all through football. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. What would you say the strength of this team is right now? You still have a scrimmage to go before falling. I'd say definitely depth and speed because we're fast as can be, and we got 20 guys that can go at all times. All right. Well, Wayne Trey is getting very excited for the opener against Pauline, and when we were Turn. We'll talk with two more seniors right here on the Frickers warm up here on WSN. Thank 
you to the Raiders cheerleaders here at Frickers one final time with Wayne Trace, Crestview and Van Wert coming up after these guys. And we have Jaden Sherry down at the end, one of the four captains, a wide receiver and defensive back. Amos Stoller, he is the one that snaps the ball and also a defensive lineman. Amos, let's start with you. You said you're hungry, you can eat lots of wings. Give me a number. How many can you put down tonight? Uh, I don't know, maybe 20, I don't know. Oh, you can we'll do see. more than 20. <laughs> <laughs> What's the high? Do you have a high? Number you've done? No, not really. I bet Sherry could probably put down more than me. Oh, wow. Do so. you think you could? No, I eat like a little girl, so. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Jaden, let's talk about the defense. Uh, familiar group back, your defensive back. How are things coming together on that side of the ball? Um, we're getting a good pass rush, which helps our defensive backs a lot. Our linebackers, they run first, so it makes it easy for DBs to do our job. We just focus on getting back and deflecting passes. Big scrimmage coming up with both Spencerville and Elida. Nice to see some other jerseys, I'm sure, and actually play against other guys like you did earlier last week. Yeah, it's going to be pretty f familiar with uh, Coach Speller. We've had him all our lives, basically. And Spencerville is known to be big, and so it's two opposites. It's going to be a good scrimmage for us. What are your thoughts on the upcoming scrimmage? What do you think your team needs to do uh, to find out about each yourselves or, or just to get better? Yeah, kind of like Jaden said, two opposite teams, so get a little, see a little bit of everything. So. Tell us about the offensive line. How are things coming together there up front? I'm um, getting better every day. It's trying to. Um, a lot of new guys, so. Two big rivalry games the first three weeks, Paulding and then all Crestview later on. Uh, Jaden. What do those games mean to, to the team, to the community, for starting with Paulding? Well, we want to win every game, but we definitely want to be one of the better teams in our county, so we want to beat Paulding every year. And with Crestview, they've always been competitive, we've always been competitive, so we want to just show our dominance in the whole, dist or in the whole region. So. You think about Paulding all off season, don't you? That's number one, that's week one. Is that what you've been thinking about, Emil? Yeah, definitely. You know, their biggest rival we got, so definitely. Big win last year for Wayne Trace over Paulding Panthers. They will try and do it again this year, opening week. We'll have a full slate of games here on WOSN. Thanks for joining us here at Frickers on the warm-up with the Wayne Trace Raiders on WOSN.